Hey plant gang, I want you to know a very popular annual plant, Cleome. Uh, now we're just going to say Cleome species, uh, but look at this beautiful plant and maybe you can see why they call it spider flower. Uh, because you can see it almost looks like there's spider legs coming off of it. Now this plant has bloomed from this bottom stem where my fingers are all summer all the way up and continues to bloom on the tip here. This is a dwarf variety that I'm around and a lot of the modern cultivars that we see on the market are smaller versions of Cleome. Uh, now uh, when I grew up uh, Cleome was a big big plant you know, maybe five or six foot high, grown from seed in one year. Uh, but, and most, and a lot of gardeners still like those bigger versions of Cleome. Uh, but some gardens, maybe smaller gardens, uh, are better to have a little bit of more of these dwarf cultivars uh, in the landscape. Uh, beautiful purple flowers, but it comes in a variety of different shades, whites and pinks uh, and different ones. Uh, but a great full sun annual plant uh, for the home landscape. Uh, easy to identify uh, throughout the summer, very distinct flowers. Uh, so this would be classified as a herbaceous perennial in zones 9 and above, uh, but for most of us in North America uh, this is going to be an annual. It does self-seed and in fact uh, in some cases if you plant a Cleome you may have Cleome uh, for the rest of your life in your garden uh, because it does uh, self-seed in a lot of different ways. But beautiful, known as a cottage garden plant in a lot of cases, uh, beautiful in big, open, uh, kind of free-flowing landscapes, uh, but really one of the more popular annual plants uh, that are grown. Uh, it I think it maybe lost a little bit of popularity, uh, but is re-emerging because of uh, these new dwarf cultivars coming onto the market. So again, I'm just asking you to recognize a Cleome when you see it. This tender annual grows quick, quickly from seed to form tall, strong stems up to six foot tall uh, and does uh, sprout a taproot, can self-seed itself in the garden. It has alternate leaves that are palmately compound with five to seven leaflets tapered at the base. And so that's one of the best ID characteristics is the compound palmate, palmately compound leaf. So as we zoom in here you can see that each flower is replaced by a seed pod which is an elongated cylindrical two-valved fruit filled with numerous seeds. Uh, but the main ID characteristic that you're going to see is that palmately compound uh, leaf that is just so iconic for Cleome. Here's a landscape tip. Plants bloom from early summer until frost. 